On Demand TV has gone from strength to strength in recent years, giving you access to a whole range of content from an increasingly large number of sources as and when you want it. If you have a relatively new TV or perhaps a set-top box, Blu-ray player or games console, there's a strong likelihood that you'll have a lot of these services built into one of them. However, if you've got a slightly older kit, you don't need to be missing out on all of the streaming goodness. There are now a number of devices that aim to help you upgrade your system via a small box or stick, packed full of services to help get you up to date. We've got some of the most popular ones here to show you and talk you through what you should be looking out for. First up is Google's Chromecast dongle. Hardly bigger than a USB stick, it neatly plugs into an HDMI port on the back of your TV and also into a spare USB port to give it power, or you can use the included mains charger instead. It's a little different to the rest of the devices we have to show you and that you aren't greeted with an interface and a list of apps to choose from. Instead, you cast the content you want to watch to your TV from your mobile or tablet. Setup is done using a mobile app to get the dongle onto your Wi-Fi network, and once that's completed, you're ready to go, with a growing choice of apps supporting casting, including YouTube, Netflix, iPlayer, Now TV, and Google Play. It can even cast web pages from Chrome. Picture quality goes up to 1080p with support for Dolby Digital Plus 5.1 sound. Its reliance on Wi-Fi will be a consideration for some, with no option of hardwiring if your connection is a bit dodgy. To help this, it has a feature called Adaptive Streaming, which will downscale the picture quality to suit your connection and help avoid stutters. The best thing about Chromecast is its price. For just £30, it offers a whole lot in a small package, storming through to five-star success. Its competition in the stick-style streamers is the Roku Streaming Stick. It connects to your TV in exactly the same way and will require a USB port for power or a spare plug at the mains instead. Once you've set up your Roku account and got the device onto your network via Wi-Fi, the clean interface directs you to download apps you want, so you're not inundated with stuff you'll never use. You'll find a good selection of key channels, including Netflix, Now TV, YouTube, Spotify, and the UK's main four catch-up services. It also offers casting like the Google Chromecast, so you can fire content at it from your phone or tablet using compatible apps. Video is output up to 1080p, and sound-wise, the Roku Streaming Stick supports Dolby Digital Plus 7.1. Load times can be a little lengthy and we had the odd dropout while casting, but it's still an impressive package for the money, just not quite worth the full five-star glory. The Roku 3 is the bigger, better brother to the streaming stick, offering a lot more features and an improved performance. It's a more traditional box style, but with a few tricks up its sleeve, including a USB input on the side for playing your own files and a microSD card slot for expanding the device's storage for apps and games. There's no power button thanks to its ultra-low power standby mode, meaning it's always on for firmware updates as and when it needs them. Setup is similar to its stick-shaped sibling, but it's noticeably faster and slicker, with no status in sight. Videos load to 100% at Full HD with barely any buffering, and Dolby Digital 7.1 sound is on board if your system can make use of it. The remote here is worth a mention, thanks to its built-in motion sensors and A and B buttons for playing compatible downloaded games and the headphone jack on the side that mutes the TV and transfers the sound to a pair of headphones in its private listening feature. We definitely suggest upgrading from the bundled buds though. As for content, you get nearly all the big names. Netflix, Now TV, YouTube, Spotify, as well as the UK's four main catch-up services. You can also use your phone to cast Netflix and YouTube videos to the TV too, but it's limited to those services for now. The Roku 3 is the priciest of all these devices at £100, but it's also the best. Choice, performance and versatility gets this little box the full five stars. Next up is Apple TV, which is now in its third generation, offering full HD streaming and a very nicely designed package indeed. It connects via HDMI, but Apple TV also offers an optical out should you need it. Being an Apple device comes with some now accepted precursors. The priority is iTunes and Apple devices. If you don't have a Mac or an iOS device, or at the very least use iTunes as your main music and movie service, you won't be getting the most out of Apple TV. If you have joined the club, you're in for a treat. Apple TV's interface is slick and fast and will play any content you've bought from iTunes, with suggestions for new content always there to tempt you. You can also mirror the screen of your Mac or iOS device using Apple AirPlay, browse photos on your iCloud, and get Dolby Digital 5.1 pass-through, where applicable. Outside of iTunes, there are a handful of other on-demand apps to choose from, including Netflix, Now TV, and YouTube, but it feels very US-focused, with no UK catch-up services available. If you want them, you'll need to mirror them from your iPad or make do without. A great proposition for iTunes-centric Apple users then, but there are now more versatile options out there, docking at a star from the full five. Finally, we have Sky's Now TV, and if you're looking for a really cheap way of getting your hands on a good range of catch-up services, this is it. As a Sky product though, its services are of course front and centre, and you'll be able to get access to its movies, sports and entertainment channels by buying passes, either monthly or daily depending on the content. 
The idea is giving you access to the best of Sky without a pricey subscription or satellite dish. There are other apps though, including the four main UK catch-up services, alongside Sky News, Spotify and YouTube, but Netflix is nowhere to be seen. On the hardware side, the Now TV box is unsurprisingly stripped back. The back features an HDMI output, a mini jack AV out for analog audio and video, and a power connection. Internet connection is strictly by Wi-Fi as there's no Ethernet socket. Another consideration is the box only outputs a maximum resolution of 720p, but it can handle 5.1 surround sound. The Now TV box feels somewhat outgunned in specifications and content, but for £10 it's hard to grumble too much. It gets four stars. So there you have it, five of the best video streamers on the market, each offering you their own take on video on demand. Our favourites have got to be Google's Chromecast dongle for pure simplicity and the feature-packed Roku 3 for choice and versatility. But which are your favourites? We love to hear what you think, so please do leave us a comment below. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. For more videos from What Hi-Fi, do click subscribe. And if you want to get in contact, you can catch us on all of the social media channels. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or add us on Google+.